This is an animation showing a kyphotic deformity correction, kyphosis being a deformity in the front to back direction, so in other words, slouching uh, or bending forward or stooping. Uh, notice that uh, a tulip-type screw could be placed at the top part of the spine toward the head, and then the posted screws are placed below uh, the apex of the kyphosis. Rods are bent and contoured to fit the top part of the spine, uh, but they're left uncontoured uh, toward the bottom part of the spine. Uh, uh, unidirectional rod crimps are placed over the posts, and the threaded posts then can be uh, manipulated and twisted with these quick threaded drivers uh, and, and through this slow, uh, gradual turning of those uh, screws, we can correct the kyphosis. The kyphosis is very gradually corrected uh, one pedicle screw at a time, uh, or perhaps two at a time, but one level at a time. As soon as the further distal or, or uh, toward the low back, as soon as those screws are available, uh, the crimps are placed, and those screws are gradually, incrementally, slowly tightened to slowly and very safely bring the spine up to a more straightened posture. Uh, so the video is showing uh, that the stress of this correction is spread across multiple points of fixation, multiple screws, so that the risk of failure of any of the screws, of the screws pulling out, is uh, minimized considerably. And the stress of correction uh, using this technique is much less than the stress uh, used in conventional techniques where the correction is done uh, all within just a few seconds. This correction probably takes maybe 30 to 60 minutes, depending on how stiff the deformity is. Once the rods are fully seated down on the screws, uh, the set screws are tightened, locking the uh, screw connectors onto the rod. Uh, the rod crimps can then be removed, and uh, the long posts uh, that were used for the reduction uh, can be removed as well. Uh, this is showing a cross linkage uh, that joins uh, each rod together, which effectively spreads the, uh, the stress and the strength of the construct uh, among both rods. So all screws are stressed, uh, meaning no screw is stressed too much, uh, and that makes the construct much stronger. Bone graft is applied. Bone graft then fuses, uh, and this is what uh, locks the spine in that new straightened posture. You can see here uh, the difference between preoperative and postop.